Um, today I will present you um, the, the work um, the work made for to elaborate a uh, decision support system for adapting uh, viticultural practices to soil agronomic properties. So to beginning, uh, soil is a central environmental compartment which provides a lot of ecosystem um, services such as uh, production for food, fiber or other, uh, including water regulation, carbon cycle, biodiversity and landscape. So that's why soil is a non-renewable resource which is very very important to preserve such as water or, or air. Concerning wine growing terroir, uh, soil is a major component of, uh, of terroir. Uh, is soil has a great influence on wine development, grape analogical potential, and uh, wine quality and style. Uh, concerning the main issues uh, related with wine growing soil management, we can talk about uh, input reduction and in particular herbicides uh, linked to water pollution. Uh, fertilizer, fuel. Uh, other issue is economic sustainability with the aim of uh, having yield, quality and uh, regularity of production. Another important issue uh, is soil protection against uh, different phenomena of soil degradation like structure degradation, compaction, erosion, slaking. And last issue, but not the least, biodiversity conservation, climate, cha climate change adaptation, and production system resilience. So, um, soil formation is, a, is a, um, the result of the alteration of a geological parent material, uh, which uh, conduct to soil horizon formation, which are um, homogeneous layers which can be distinguished according to their color component, uh, property, the physical property and other, other parameters. And horizon is very important in soil science because it's the key elements for soil description, sampling, analysis, understanding and classification. So in uh, one growing uh, for to characterize to characterize soil agronomic property, the, the, the most used uh, method consists in using soil analysis with samples collected with hand auger. So most of the time on the top soil, which is called soil on 0 to 30 centimeters, it's, uh, it is used to, to manage uh, fertilizer. And in case of planting, uh, there is often an additional sampling on subsoil on 30 to 60 centimeters, which permit to, to think about the, the rootstock choice uh, according to chlorosis risk. But this method is, is not enough to get a global view of soil functioning because profound layers, profound horizons are not taken in account. So here is another way to, to have a more relevant method uh, using backhoe to dig pits. Then digging pits uh, permits to to, to see the, the, the soil profile, its depth, and to identify different horizons. Then you can describe these, these horizons and analyze them by uh, collecting samples for each horizon. So at the end, you got three or four analyses for one soil. The, the main way to to synthesize this information is to make a big table with lots of data, which is very difficult for, for non-specialists to understand. So the, the aim of the, the DSS that we elaborated is to make a visual interpretation of analysis results. So the, the subject is to, to represent the soil profile with a block divided in 10 centimeters layers in order to represent uh, thickness of different horizons. 
as you can see in, in this example. And we created one block for each parameter analyzed. For example, for texture, we, um, we choose the clay content and we associate, we associate it to each uh, parameter a specific color code to uh, visualize the, um, the, the results. For clay content, you get from yellow on low level to uh, dark black for high level of uh, clay. So we decided to, to make um, to four interpretation, interpretation axes with all the different data. So four profile, first textural, calcic, organic, and then minerals, with all these axes are linked with uh, physical or chemical fertility. So for the first one, textural profile, we choose five indicators. Um, oh. All my tables are not um, always in English, I'm sorry for that, so I'll try to, to explain you. Uh, f first uh, indicator is um, coarse fragment content, EG. Second one is uh, clay content, then we got texture, and two other uh, indicators, slacking index, IB, and uh, compaction index, IT. So. On this figure, you can uh, you can see the application of this uh, method for two diff very different soil. On the yes, on the right, um, a carbonated uh, clay clay soil, and on the left, uh, an acid gravelly sandy soil. So you can see on the on the uh, the right side, or the left side, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, a very brown profile for texture, which means it's a very clay soil. Whereas on the on the right part, you get a yellowish profile, which means it's a more uh, sandy sandy soil. Here on the right, you get a high content of um, coarse fragment, and uh, you can see difference on the slacking index with uh, slacking sensibility on the left and no sensibility on the right with in color code uh, which are made to alert uh, viticulture wine, wine grower for um, about uh, risks of slacking or compaction. So this representation is interesting to access permeability profile and considering field observation like topographic setting or hydromorphic uh, feature, you can access to solid rig functioning with rather uh, slow drainage uh, on the left on the left uh, soil, much filter soil at the right, and other case with purchased water when you have um, impermeable uh, subsoil. So the, this representation is, can be very useful for choosing uh, variety and rootstock at the time of planting, for example. The second profile is calcic profile with five indicators, uh, total and active carbonate content, pH water, pH KCL, and uh, calcium content, which uh, lead to this representation. You can see on the, on the left part, on the left soil, um, color red and yellow, which means, uh, so it, which means it's a carbonated soil, whereas the, the gravelly sandy soil has no color because there's no carbonate in this soil. For pH, we use the color code of a pH meter, which goes to red for acid, green, neutral, and blue, basic. So you can see basic soil on the left and acidic, acidic uh, soil on the right. This profile is useful for rootstock choice, dealing with chlorosis risks according to carbonate content and depth of carbonated resin. And also to, uh, to manage basic amendments in acid soils. So the profile is the organic one with only three indicators. Okay. Uh, organic matter, ratio, carbonate, uh, uh, nitrogen and uh, organic matter stock on 0 to 30 centimeters. 
Here you can see two different profiles, uh, a low, con low organic matter content at the left and uh, high organic content at the right. So useful to manage uh, organic statu with uh, restitution amendments, for example. And the last, the mineral profile with three, four, in fact, is five indicators cation exchange capacity, uh, saturation level, and uh, phosphor, potassium, and magnesium content. For each one, different color code, uh, and in particular for phosphor, magnesium, and uh, potassium, uh, a specific color, uh, yellow, uh, purple, and gray, which goes to, to light color for, for low content to, high, to, to dark color for high uh, content. So you can see different, for example, in potassium, with uh, accumulation of potassium on the top layer on the left, whereas on the right you get a natural uh, richness of potassium in the subsoil. So it can be used for management of, of fertilizer. So in conclusion, uh, we propose here a formalized framework for description of soil composition and vertical variability of its components. It's a way to have a better valorization of soil analysis routinely accessible in most laboratory and we can imagine potential application in every one, one growing area adapting interpretation tree soil to local reference. In Bordeaux area, we use this profile to, to, uh, to make soil typology, uh, for example, on hydric functioning, and uh, to make agronomic diagnostic to determine cover crops strategy in a sustainable soil management program. And last but not least, because it's very important, it's a great tool for spreading soil science knowledge to a larger public with advisors, teachers, and wine growers. Great uh, acknowledgement to the study, to the, to the team which study on, the, on this work for our financial support. And thank you, everybody.